Prime Minister Theresa May has announced that the UK will hold a snap election on the 8th of June 2017. With this event looming, the question on everybody's mouths is who should I vote for? Who will benefit me, the country and the world the most? For some people, it's about picking the best out of a bad group. For others, it's about voting tactically so that the party that you really loathe doesn't get into power. I've been thinking a lot about who I'd like to win the election and run the country. And for me, it's always come down to two major political parties, the Labour Party and the Green Party. And I started to think about what the government would look like should we see a Labour-Green coalition. Considering each party's policies, it seems that they agree on a lot of subjects. With Jeremy Corbyn leading the Labour Party, it's taken a shift to the left, meaning that many of the Labour's policies are now similar to the Green Party's. Both parties are focused on tackling climate change and building a fairer, more sustainable society. In Labour's manifesto, they promise to introduce a new climate change adaption plan to help us properly prepare for the effects of a change in climate. Similarly, the Green Party's primary objective is a safeguarding of the climate as far as possible for future decades and generations. The two parties have actually been working together in the lead up to the election through withdrawing candidates from some seats so that the other party can win the seat over the Tories. For example, Green Party will not be standing in Brighton Kemp Town or in central Ealing. This letter, published in The Guardian, signed by many Labour MPs, states that in order to avoid a Tory landslide, Labour should stand down in Brighton Pavilion, where Caroline Lucas currently holds a seat, and in the Isle of Wight, where it seems that the Greens could be the only party to beat the Tories. Perhaps the parties working together right now could be the start of a great alliance? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.